What's up y'all, Marjack79 here, and we are back again with another Dragon Stars action figure review. Today we are taking a look at the Dragon Ball series Janemba. I don't know why they keep putting the Dragon Ball Super logo on top of Dragon Ball Z characters. That is so weird to me. Or maybe they don't have the copyright to the Z logo, I guess. Uh, this is weird to me. <laughs> <laughs> but here he is. Uh, I just got him in the mail today from Amazon. Paid $19.99 for him. Like, so, like, $21 for tax. So, yep. Figure in the box here looks really cool. We brought up our Gogeta. Shut up. I know he doesn't have the... Uh, he doesn't have the orange uh, shoulder pads. <laughs> no, stop it. Stop it, man. Uh, FYI, I'm drinking on this review. <laughs> but uh, we got the fist and hands here. Um, the figure, and then got some open palm hands to hold the sword, got some key blast hands, uh, the sword in the package here, pretty, looks pretty cool. We'll spin it to the side here, nothing, we'll spin it to the back here, we got some sands here, we got, the only one outside of this line that I would maybe be particularly interested in would be the Super Saiyan Bardock, but you know we got the figure arts Bardock coming, I, I've already pre-ordered him, so, from Ageless Geeks, so, Hopefully, you know, maybe Demonomical Disaster will give us a Super Saiyan Bardock head to go with that. <laughs> then we got a cool picture of him on the side here. Yeah, yeah. All right, man. Let's uh, let's crack this baby open. Let's take a look. Okay, now we got him out of the package, man. I'll tell you what, man. Shout out to Dragon Stars for making Dragon Ball Z figures that SH Figure Arts probably was never even thinking about making. Even though I feel like I saw Janemba's name on some of those uh, poll sheets with figures that they were asking fans if they wanted made or not. So, you know, I'm sure, you know, Figure Arts will eventually make a Janemba figure because I feel like they've made pretty much all of the most recent Dragon Star exclusive Dragon Ball Z figures that have come out like First Form Frieza, Bardock, etc. But I'm definitely happy to hold this as a placeholder until Figure Arts gives us their version. I mean, I mean, shading aside, I mean, if you don't really care about the shading, I mean, this is a damn good looking figure, man. I mean, this is going to look good on the shelf. I'm very, I'm very confident. Let's get a look at the face hair to the body. I mean, exactly how, how he's supposed to look. They even give us like a good, a good reference hair to see what he actually looked like in the anime. I guess the purple could have been a little bit lighter. <laughs> but, you know, he came out good, man. I like it. For $19.99, yeah, you know, I mean, you can't beat it, dude. You really can't. So, this hair, I mean, then obviously, y'all y'all know I'm a super Dragon Ball fan, man. So, I'm going to be a bit biased when it comes to all of my Dragon Ball figures. Sword came out good, too. It's a really dope-looking sword. Look at that. You got some dark blues here, the shiny reds. Got some glittering effect on the sword hair. Looks like it's magical. Pretty cool. You remember, you remember in the movie when he was cutting those gelatin-like substances whereas Goku was trying to hide in that pool? That was my favorite part. If you if you know what I'm talking about, hit that hit that like button, man. Come on. So we got some key blast hands, have uh, and some sword holding hands. So obviously I'm going I'm most definitely going to be posing him holding his sword. So let's uh, let's hit his articulation. Yay. Head. Uh you can barely look up. You don't get much. You don't get anything. I'm lying. You don't get anything at all. Okay. Down. Uh, nah. Can't go down either. Okay. <laughs> uh, tilt. Uh, nope. No tilts at all either. Okay. Thanks, man. Thanks, Dragon Stars. Rotate 360 degrees, though, but you can't look up. I'm pushing it. As you can see, it's not going up. So, he, I mean, he can, he can do that and that. That's all, that's all you get, man. That's it. Uh, chest. Uh, you tilt a little bit to the left, tilt a little bit to the right, rotate. Oh, Jesus. Okay, okay. <laughs> rotate. <laughs> and pull him apart. Okay, destructo disc. Let's put that back on there. Okay. So he cannot rotate 360 degrees. He can twist this way and this way and tilt and tilt. But there is no rotating 360 degrees on this guy. Arm. Uh, rotate 360 degrees, cannot go up, okay, bicep swivel, there you go, boom, elbow, straight down, straight up, you know, they, they always do good with the elbow joints, <laughs> uh, wrist, nope, there, yeah, like, 
wrist guard, no swivel, wrist, no swivel, of course, tilt, tilt, and tilt. You can tilt up and down, but not left and right. Leg, straight up, okay, goodness. Straight back, that's so weird. They get awesome articulation in the legs, but like none in the uh, <laughs> torso, though. You get, but obviously you get some ugly leg gaps there if you're trying to do all, oh god no no Janimba no <laughs> put that back on there <laughs> uh, knee joint you gotta have fun in some of these reviews man I do these all the time sometimes you gotta have some fun knee joint bent oh my god you just every time you try to push it a little bit you just those so these leg joints are gonna pop off pretty easily if you try to push the articulation man so keep that in mind <laughs> knee joint bend it you bend it that's all you that's all you get no shin guards no thigh swivel of course oh my god this leg dude this is you know I mean this is a this is a review so I mean you see what you're getting here twenty dollars keep that in mind this is just twenty dollars man Ankle down, up, cannot, yeah, you can rotate it 360 degrees, barely. That, oh my god, dude. Okay. <laughs> so let's pop, pop, pop that back on. Just don't break, just don't break, Jesus, dude. So he is not broke, hooray. <laughs> but obviously, as you can see, you can only push his articulation so far, man, before he just falls apart. <laughs> So, clearly, not a very well-made figure. Uh, let's just pull this out and put it on his sword. Get him into uh, the best pose we can get him in, and then we'll finish out here. Because, Jesus Christ, I don't want to break him before I even get him on the shelf. Good lord. But first, let's hit this tail articulation real quick. I didn't even go through that. So, it can rotate from here to here. Um, it has a crease here. Go, you can rotate that as well. So, nothing too extravagant, just that's what you got. Okay, so now we have him in our pose here holding his sword. Now, I do highly recommend when you put the sword in his hand, I recommend pulling the hand out of the socket and putting the sword in first and then putting the hand into the body. I know this probably sounds like a rookie move, but it just makes it so much easier to get the sword in his hand because the hand is really stiff. So, yeah. Then we have a comparison with our Gogeta here. Let's get a quick size comparison real quick. So, I mean, if for some reason you wanted to do this movie scene without the orange shoulder pads here, I mean, it comes out it comes out good. I mean, you know, you just can't be expecting the word. Obviously, it's zero to no shading on this figure here. But, I mean, once you pose him on the shelf, he's going to look good, man, compared to all the other Dragon Ball Z, Super, and original Dragon Ball figures, man. So, okay. So let's go ahead and let's take him downstairs and let's put him in the museum and then we will finish out. And we're back. And now we have our Janemba from Fusion Reborn onto the shelf after some rearranging. Uh, not too much though. We just pushed the uh, San Diego Comic Con Kel King Goku back a little bit. Put him on the second shelf here on the big shelf. Came out good. Got him right behind the cooler. Trying to keep like the movie figs in a specific corner with the GT stuff so came out good man like I said come when you when you get him onto the shelf he's gonna look awesome so let me let's do have Gogeta up with the rest of the fusion characters here so got that main shelf have the secondary shelf and the third shelf so Yep, comes out good, man. So I think next definitely is a uh, full power Jiren. He's definitely next on my review list for Dragon Ball. So once I get him in, uh, he'll have his own review as well. So as always, man, thanks everybody for watching. If you like the video, do me a favor, hit that like button. You can follow me at youtubecom smartjack 79 I'm also on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And as always, uh, I will see you guys on the next one. I'll catch you guys later. Bye.